and Miriam, when Miriam saw that the woman loved the child immediately, she ran. She had taught Miriam to smartness. She had taught. Her. Do you know the three of them? They are prophets. Miriam was a prophetess. Aaron too was a prophet, right? See, Aaron Grace. When I see people that carry Aaron Grace, I don't, I don't even want to work with them. You know what I mean? Aaron will sin against God. Will even influence you to join in the sin. <laughs> and when God wants to punish, he will punish you. He will not punish Aaron. <laughs> when the children of Israel said they wanted another God, what happened? Was it not Aaron that formed the golden calf? Did God punish Aaron? Please now talk to me now. <laughs> I went and he said, can I get somebody that will take care of this child for you? Smartness, wisdom, knowledge. And the woman said, yes, yes, I need someone like that. And the Bible said, Jacob had received her son back because of prayer, because she had a vision because she had a relationship with God received Moses back and she was able to take care of him without any fear and she raised him in the way of the Lord how did Moses know that he was an Israelite the mother has instilled it in him he instilled God in him let me tell you legacy is not about what you give to your children or what you leave for them physically it is what you put in them For your children is fine you can leave house for your children is fine but what is in them what you give to them that is God can create that house he can create those cars look at the politicians that we have in Nigeria what are they doing they will embezzle 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 send their children abroad and at the end of the day do you hear about the children later do you hear of anything that makes sense about the politician, children's politician. Please answer me now. How many of them do you know? Because they only care about what they give to their children physically, not what they have instilled in them. Most of them don't end well. There are different types of mothers. They are permissive mothers. And I pray none of them are here. Whether you have given birth or you are not. Permissive mothers. Anything the child wants, they give the child. Mommy, I want sweets. I want chewing gum. I want pizza. I want, there is nothing like no. Oh, you are going out. Ah, this cloth is so short, oh. Eh? Okay, I live in the hands of God. Permissive mothers. Ah, they are not here. Ah, uh ah, -uh, the man that came yesterday is different from the one that came last week, oh. Just be careful, oh. What if they jam? Permissive mothers. They are not here. Another type of mother. They are not here. Abusive mothers. Da! Bo! They speak negatively do you know that children don't forget things anything anybody has done to hurt me as a child till now i remember <laughs> if i start mentioning all of them to you you'll be surprised i remember everything so be careful of the words you speak to your children there was a time my mom would always say or they or they near or they or they means foolish and it would make me angry when i was younger and one day i, I said mommy what if today I wake up and I'm like, mm. <laughs> <She's> like <laughs> I said, please stop calling me all day. And that was the last day she called me all day. Words are powerful. The Bible says the power of life and death. They are in what? Whatever you say to your children will come to pass in their lives. Why? Because you gave them life. And it is someone who gives life that can call you what you are or what you should be do you get it so be careful what you say to your children whatever you don't want to see manifest in your child's life don't call that child that don't Jabez's mother put a limitation on his life all because of her experience he said because i birthed him in pain and everywhere Jabez went, Jabez caused pain until he realized that he carried that he had a God that he could go to and say, God, bless me indeed, enlarge my coast, let your hand rest upon me that I do not cause pain. 
thank God for prayers. So many mothers become abusive because of the pain and hurt that they've gone through in the past or because maybe their husbands, you know, treated them in a bad way. But please, mothers, stop the circle. Don't transfer the hurt. Don't transfer the pain that you went through growing up to your children. Don't let it continue because when you transfer it to them, they too will transfer it to their children. See, a new beginning starts with me. I was raped. I was cheated on. I was mis maltreated. But it stops with me. I will not transfer it to my children. No, it stops with me. So don't let your child carry burdens, battles because of you. You are supposed to be someone who the child can run to for safety. They should know that under my mother's wings I am safe. Not that when I run under my mother's wings I am receiving more battles. No. That's not what you have been wired to be. Another lesson to learn from an ego. Tenacity. Egos don't run from storm. When there is storm, she doesn't run. Other birds run. You know what an eagle does? She spreads her wings. And she soars on the current of that storm. That is when you will see the eagle in his glory. <laughs> so as a mother or a woman, how do you see challenges of life? Do you run from them? Do you scream? Do you cry? Do you feel helpless? No. There is something in you that is able to soar over those challenges. And you come out of victory. Eagles select their companies. Have you seen an eagle move with pigeons before? By lie. Lie, lie. Who are the people you move with? There was a man on the streets like 10 or 12 years ago. The man saw me and said, oh, I like you. You're so beautiful. Thank you, sir. And he said, I would like to marry you, relocate you to UK. And all, making different promises. I looked at the man like this. I said, are you married? He said, yes. I said, it's a no-go area for me. I said, why? I said, if I date you, not talk of Mario, she be I first of all date you before I marry you. If I date you, I am sowing a seed now. If I date a married man, another man, too, another woman too will date my husband now. I don't want to reap that fruit, so I will not sow it. And I said, can you do without sex? The man said, ah! And I said, eh, me, I don't have sex until marriage. The man said, ah. I'm not interested. Do you know what the man did? When Nessie went to UK and came back, he brought gifts for me and he said, you are special. And his wife wants to divorce her because she has joined the Yegbe of Kili Okoyoshi. You know what it means? She does not listen to her husband. You know they have that stuff in UK very well. Why they will divorce their husband because they want to take his property. You know, that's something that they do that. Divorce, once they divorce, there's a part of the man's property that comes to you. So that was what the woman did. I said, so who are the people that you move with? You believe in marriage and you're moving with someone that does not believe in marriage. That's the wrong company. You believe in a woman, you are a friend to a woman that disrespects her husband. Before you know you, you will start disrespecting your husband. You move with a woman that causes her children. Before you know it, it becomes your lifestyle. You don't move with people that encourage your vision, what you carry on your inside. Before you know it, you become a mediocre and, and the world and nation, everybody will forget you when you die. So choose your company. Select it. You will never see an eagle move with a pigeon. Pigeons will always complain. Have you seen pigeons before? They are always noisy. <laughs> They are always talking. When they are angry, they will talk. When they are... <laughs> but when you see an eagle fly down in his essence, he's coming to pick something and go back. An eagle does not stay on the floor and move with pigeons. No, if an eagle is coming from, from the sky, he's coming to pick up something and he's going back. So choose your company. Eagles possess vitality. What do they mean? They are full of life. When they look back at their life, they re-energize themselves. How do they re-energize themselves? An eagle, after 30 years, they, they have the lifespan of 60 years. When they are 30 years, they move up to like 10,000 feet 
into a mountain top you know what they do they now start picking out their feathers it's painful though you know what it means for somebody to, if you are hairy for somebody to pull your head just one strand of hair you will cry so imagine what an ego does starts plucking out its feathers will take the pig hit it hit it on the rock until it falls off all the nails fall off and then it stays in that place for five months until feathers new feathers come out and after five months it comes back ready to spend another 30 years do you care for yourself how do you treat your body do you make sure you eat well do you rest you walk 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 and tomorrow you are down with malaria you want to kill yourself do you take out some time to give yourself a spa massage take yourself to restaurants you are walking go and enjoy see take don't even spend too much take five 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 thousand naira. five five thousand naira. just five thousand naira. go and do your nails let somebody treat you. you know when you are doing your nails you are balanced you are you know go to pepper soup joints sit down by yourself take your whole fish cat fish eat play music enjoy yourself because if you die those children will live their lives so hey my child my child and this this is also to men let me tell you men do you hear me i'm talking to my husband too because he can carry everybody's load in the house and he won't he will not remember himself and i do tell him i'm sorry sir <laughs> men you are not else shall die or else you shall die yeah. Yeah. so take care of yourself it's your life spend time with yourself there was one video that I saw. <laughs> you know these comedy videos, and we saw the woman. She just opened door, and they wrote a, a, a caption. They said, "Did when the doctor said I should, I should send out all the stress in my life." And then you saw the woman. You see the woman. She opened the door, and all her children. She started sending all of them out. And at the end, the husband too followed, and then she closed the door. I said. Eh. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Use good cream. Use perfume. Smell nice. Smell nice. It's your life. Eagles, they nurture their young ones. Mothers are timeless teachers in the classroom of life. Timeless. It means their teaching does not stop. You know what an eagle does? When he wants to when, when she sees that it is time for her eaglets to learn how to fly she carries the eaglet puts the eaglet on her back then moves high flies high into the sky then suddenly she swoops off under the eaglet and then the eaglet is left in the air now the eaglet is trying to find what the purpose of its wings are she allows it drop 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 and then she goes under it again if the eaglet is ready to fly the eaglet will be able to fly on its own without support but when she notices that the eaglet is still lazy or is slow in learning she takes the eaglet back to its nest and you know what she does she starts pulling the nest she destroys the net the nest and after breaking it she pushes the eaglet out of the nest allows it to fall mothers know the time to let go of your child emotionally but we should learn how to leave them you have trained them in the way of the lord right you have taught them leave them in the hands of god let them make their mistakes but always make sure that your arms are always wide to receive them anytime they come a day should never go by without you calling your children please especially when you have those that are in school or you're not in the same place call them daily find out what is happening in their lives in touch with them 
because your teaching does not end oh do you know what mary did and around up mary did not leave the side of jesus until he was buried and even when he resurrected she was still with him so it means a mother's duty never stops it's still till she says that is when she stops can we rise up 